At the height of Sri Lanka's economic crisis two years ago, Rani Chandralata lost her husband, who died queuing for fuel. He didn't feel ill. He ate and drank well that morning. But then he went to get petrol, and that's where he died, standing in the sun. Back then, Sri Lanka was on the brink of collapse. Inflation was at 70 per cent, with severe shortages of essentials like fuel and medicine. Two years on, the economy is recovering, but not enough for Rani. We need to bring down the price of goods. The price of medicine needs to go down. I don't know who'll do it. Who should I give my vote to? Tuk Tuk driver Nixon Chandrantharan knows who he'll vote for. The incumbent president, Ranil Vikramasinghe. And he got a good knowledge. He have a good brain. In 2022, Nixon was part of mass protests that drove out former president Gotabaya Rajapaksa. That family only know they spoiled the economy, they spoiled the country. Ranil Vikramasinghe has won support for stabilising the economy under a bailout agreement with the International Monetary Fund. Ranil Vikramasinghe saved the country. No more queues. He will win this election and Sri Lanka will have a better future. But he's one of three frontrunners in this election. Opposition leader Sajit Premadasa and leader of leftist alliance Anura Kumara Disanayaka. So this election is all about this notion of system change. The social contract of the country is in pieces and we therefore have to redesign a new social contract. The hope here is whoever wins won't change the trajectory of Sri Lanka's economic recovery. Ellie Grounds, ABC News, Colombo.